Warning. This podcast may contain spoilers for whatever TV show or movie is mentioned. Please listen at your own discretion. Welcome to Viewers Anonymous. Yo, what's going on? I am Scrooge Bronson. And I am S. Foster. That's right. And you tuned in to the uh, viewers and out of his time. Oh, I stopped myself this time. But you tuned in to the Viewers Anonymous podcast, man. Listen, I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know why. But for some odd reason, man, I keep wanting to say it's I, I think it's the the intro. It it possibly because like it's sim it's similar because mm-hmm. you would say, you used to say that. Yeah. So like I can see. But still, what gets me is I think you haven't done an episode in, what, like, three years now? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> but I'm telling you, I think it's the way I think it's the way the, the intro is. Like, we got we might have to switch up the intro. Um, Because every time I do it, it's, it's, like you said, I ain't did it in three years, but it's, it's that, that muscle memory kick in. And I'll be wanting yeah. to say I already home. Um, but besides that, man, um. What's going on with you, buddy? Man, honestly, too much. Um, too much yeah. is going on. I've been, I've been in the middle of this process, man. Um, going on almost a year now. Uh, it really ramped up mm-hmm. in, fe- in February, and like the last couple of weeks, man, it, it's been crazy. And it's just, you know, the scheduling been messed up because of stuff that's supposed to happen and hasn't happened and like this is good and then the turnaround and it ain't good. So man, it's it's been a, it's been a lot going on, very stressful. Uh I know everybody's kind of like, yo, what the fuck is this dude talking about? But in time, people in time. But uh how you feeling, man? Everything good with you? Yeah, man, I'm good. Um just you know, getting everything in order, man. OnlyFans been going crazy, so you know what I'm saying. I cannot complain about that. Um, but outside of that, everything else has been going swimmingly. You know what I'm saying. Uh, I might actually um, be working on, a, a, you know, what I'm saying the project that I've been trying to get going for the longest. Um, so uh, I had. Started doing the Twitch joint for like, you know what I'm saying? Not too long ago. I think I started it last, at like toward the end of last year. And I used to do like, um, I used to do drunk gaming. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'll be <laughs> drinking. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I talked about it on here before, though. Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I called it like the sip and shoot. I get drunk while I'm playing Call of Duty and shit like that. So, um, I'm thinking about bringing that back also. You know what I'm saying? The isolated society joint on uh on Twitch. You know what I'm saying? If you if you are not um if you are not on Twitch or you don't follow me on Twitch, I'm sorry. Go ahead and do that now because within these next um few weeks, I'm getting geared up to start back, you know what I'm saying, jumping on that. So it's gonna be fun as hell, bro. I cannot wait. <laughs> I swear I cannot wait for this shit. <laughs> this shit is gonna be so fucking fun, bro. Um so I'm bringing back drunk gaming. Um, I'm also going to be doing, um, I'm also going to be doing somewhere I play with, you know what I'm saying? A couple fans. Once I get to a certain, uh, number in the fan base, uh, I'll be picking a fan, playing with a fan. And then, um, right now I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to, um, I'm trying to figure out what days I'm going to do everything because right now, uh, you know, like my son's baseball and everything else like that. They they come up on different days, so I got to figure out my hours. I got to figure out my days. Once I do that, then I'm going to throw that in there. and You know what I'm saying? It's going to go crazy, bro. We're going to have some fun. But, yeah, I'm coming back on Twitch. Isolated Society will be back. Excuse Bronson. Um, I'm going to be playing the game. I might be talking a little shit here and there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't know exactly what I'm going to be playing yet because I know a few games are supposed to be coming out, um, and I'm super excited. You know what I'm saying to uh to see what's coming up. 
I know it's supposed to be a new Call of Duty and stuff like that. Um, I got to get some stuff uh, situated first, but I'm definitely going to be playing a lot of shooting games. I might even be playing like Madden against some people. I might be playing 2K against some people. You know what I'm saying? Just little stuff like that, man. Um, and then, of course, there's going to be games where uh, it'll be like some adventure joints going on, stuff like that. So I'm definitely be excited to play those. I know um, I've seen a lot of people playing. Uh, it was a game called like Little Nightmares or something like that. And a lot of people jumped on that and played that. So it'll probably be some stuff like that going on super soon. Um, but for right now, just make sure, you know what I'm saying, you follow me on Twitch at Scoots Bronson. Make sure that um, you also are – Excuse me. Ooh. I know I'm getting long-winded, y'all. I'm sorry. But, um, you know what I'm saying, make sure that you follow me on uh, Twitch at Scoots Bronson. Make sure you follow in the Isolated Society show. Uh, search either one of those. I'm sure you can find it. And make sure you follow me on Twitter at Scoots Bronson. Um, my, um, my link tree is going to be in there. So you can go there and find out everything that's going on. As far as Twitch goes, you can find out everything that's going on. As far as the only fans goes, all that good stuff. And, um, yeah, man, Ooh, excuse me. That's about it, bro. Yeah, man. A lot going on, but that's good, mm-hmm. man. I think you, you keep your, that's just like, when I was telling you I was doing that podcasting thing with that, that mm-hmm. guy, he jumps on, he calls calls himself the podcast father. But yeah. um, but like, you know, putting out a lot of content, you know, and mm-hmm. he said, Yo, you putting out a lot of content. He was like, That's good because you know, there's so much now. I don't really dip and dab in like a lot of that stuff that you're talking about. Like, mm-hmm. you know, I just really I guess I just really kind of just stay in the podcast field, really. Yeah. Um, to be honest with you, and it's just trying to be more consistent with the with the twenty eight minutes or less, and um, you know, with Jamar going through or JD going through the stuff that he's going through, we haven't really been podcasting because he's in the middle of a move and all this type yeah. of stuff. So we haven't really done that and having to end the stolen time podcast is you know. There's a lot of there's a listen. <laughs> it's crazy because I was thinking about this the other day, right? Mm-hmm. So if I'm not mistaken, I believe this is 171. If I'm not mistaken, episode 171. So. If I'm not wrong, and the Stolen Time Podcast went up to 214 episodes, and mm-hmm. I'm at 87 episodes on 28 minutes or less. And yeah. I don't know how many times I did the already home. You know, Man. I did. You know, countless podcasts, and it's just like, yo, like I, <laughs> it's a lot of it's not false the voice out there. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, and all this type stuff. Well over 500 uh, episodes. Yeah, so like, read. yeah, been put been putting in work, and I don't think people really realize. And I think that when I first started, we'll get to the shits, but like, I think that when people first if they even notice it first noticing me like starting to post stuff they're probably like ah oh, he'll probably stop doing that shit mm-hmm. and it's like now it's almost five years be five years and two months yeah and like i haven't stopped you know what i mean mm-hmm. so yeah man like i'm not mad at you man i wish nothing but the best for all that stuff because i, th- I just feel like the more any of us really, um, if we mm-hmm. really, if we really talking, we, when we talking about E Carter, C J D, mm-hmm. uh, shit, even Casey, like any mm-hmm. of us can get hurt because we all really fuck with each other. So, yep. yeah, man. So it's a uh, yeah. good look, good look community, man. Good look community for sure, man. I appreciate it, man. But you know, I just for me, man, I just got to keep myself into. Uh, as much as possible only because it's so many things that I do. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm interested in a lot of different things. Like, remember I told you, like, only thing I did was get on the website and then, like, 15 minutes later, I found out how to make NFTs. So, like, (laughs) if I get into some shit, bro, and I like to, you know what I'm saying? Like, I get a chance to look around and snoop around it, I figure out how to do it. And that's really the whole basis of me doing everything that I'm doing now is just figuring out how to do it just so I'd be able to teach somebody else how to do it. You know what I'm saying? Once they get around me, because I know it's not 
easy to find, you know what I'm saying, to find out how to do some of this stuff. And, you know what I'm saying, like, to be able to have somebody that can kind of guide you and show you, you know what I mean, it make a, a bunch of this stuff a lot easier. True. You're absolutely right, man. So <clears throat> I just and then the crazy part is how I believe people honestly believe, yo, man, that shit they're doing, I can do that shit. And mm-hmm. what's so great about it is hearing other people that I don't even know mm-hmm. say the same shit because that was something that was talked about when I joined that that little discussion on Twitter. Mm-hmm. And it was like a lot of people saying the same thing. Like a lot of people believe that they could just jump on a podcast and keep it going. And it's like, yeah. no, it's not as easy as y'all think it is. And I know that sometimes that it can appear the way that me and you come off, like it might appear easy. Right. But shit, know. I ain't gonna lie. I've been like you said, we've been doing this for for going on five, six years. So it's still hard for me. What do you mean? What do you mean by hard? Like to just, especially with you know, what I'm saying like the way we do the way we do our pod, right? Because like we talk about um, a specific movie and like the basis of the movie. It's sometimes so hard for me not to veer off and go into another lane because I could find something that can connect with the movie easily, but it's, it gets hard to, you know what I'm saying, like not keep talking about one thing and then jump into another. Because I'm because from my, my podcast background is, remember, when I did Already Home, it was multiple topics. This mm-hmm. is totally out my realm because it's like focusing on one movie. And that one movie, and like, cause even when you know what I'm saying, like, we get off on a tangent, I, like, I'll be going and going and forgetting, like, no, we supposed to stay on this movie. This is the movie we supposed to be staying on. So, yeah. But I think though, sometimes that be the best part though. Yeah. Because yeah. it's never like, even though we on a tangent, mm-hmm. it it's in the realm of the yeah. movie. It's not. Right. It's not right. completely. It's not completely off. Like. The last episode we did with White Man Can't Jump, like we went on mm-hmm. this whole discussion about like Quavo and you know what I mean. Now, yeah. now it had he had something to do with it because he put himself out there, but mm-hmm. at the same time he ain't got nothing to do with White Man Can't Jump. Exactly, exactly. But then look, we got into Little Dicky, mm-hmm. and it's just like <laughs> so. I think that those side conversations can be good, and I think mm-hmm. that what that does is it shows it shows your audience like. We don't just watch certain movies. Like it also shows like we could be talking about a movie that have a certain actor in it or whatever the yep. case may be, and yep. we can go down the whole wormhole of this actor's career or their personal life or whatever the case may be. So it's like, yo, like we really in this shit. We could be like, yo, I remember when th- when he did this movie or she did this movie, mm-hmm. and then we start talking about that movie, but it's still related to what we're doing. We're just showing you like Yo, like we watch a lot of movies, so it's yeah. like it's not like an unexperienced thing because if we was on here and I felt that if we stayed like strictly on the topic of the movie and didn't bring that extra stuff, I do believe that people can look at it and be like, "Yo, these dudes don't really know what they're doing because they don't really know the extent of things." And it's just like I feel that when we can go in depth with the things that we're talking about mm-hmm. and be like you know, this movie or that movie and, and this this scene reminded me of this movie. And then we'll sit there and talk about this other movie. You could be like, oh, mm-hmm. shit, like these motherfuckers really be watching movies like that. It's like, yeah, like we do. So yeah, I say, I that's, that's, that's one thing for sure it. that we do. We definitely watch these movies. <laughs> we I definitely do. That right now. And then yeah. it, and the crazy part is, is like a lot of times the movies that we watch, it don't even be like on, you know what I'm saying? Like on purpose. It's just something we might even watch on accident and be mm-hmm. like, hey man, did you see such and such and such and such? And be like, nah, we gotta do one on that one. So you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> some of the times it's just, you know what I'm saying, we be trying to find stuff to watch just for entertainment and then it end up being so good, you know what I'm saying? We end up throwing it on the pod. So that's another fire, you know what I'm saying, thing about this too is the fact that you know what I'm saying, we get to be able to just 
you know what I'm saying, watch some stuff on our own time and then still just be like, you know what, maybe we should do this or so. I like that too. But you know what I'm saying? This it's all a it's all a work in progress, man. No matter how long you've been doing this, no matter how good you are at it, you know what I'm saying, how bad you are at it, or you know what I'm saying, just if you just picked it up today, it's all a work in progress. It's all about getting better. And the, the more you continue to do it, the better you can get at it. You know, and just never never settle for where you at. Always strive to be better. And I think that's the key behind all this stuff. And that's where, you know what I'm saying, everybody is trying to get to at this point. Exactly, man. And that's why I love this segment um, that we're about to do because mm-hmm. I think that that also extends our range because, like, like when we do, like, this segment, this is just, like, we could possibly do a podcast on it, or if mm-hmm. not, we just want you to know that this is something that we're interested in. Exactly. And, and if we're interested in it and you kind of really fuck with us, it's like we're telling you, like, if we mention it, that means that we think that it's good. Yeah, it's more like an appetizer to the main dish. Exactly. So, man, listen, we about to get into it then, man, since you already introduced it in such an elegant way, brother. Um, man, we about to get into what we watching. So, um, soundboard still down. Don't judge us. Brother, man, what do you have this week? Because I got one and I'm excited. Oh, man. So who who going to go first? Me? Yeah, go ahead. Take the, oh, oh. Take, the, take the wheel like Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. I actually got two. Uh, oh, nice. We haven't done we haven't done the segment in a while, man, because we didn't mm-hmm. do a show last Friday. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we're doing this off schedule, so we ain't recording on a Friday. But we got to get this in, y'all. So I've been watching a lot, so I'm only going to bring up two. And I'm bringing up one for a reason. So the first one I'm going to mention, man, um, I, I think I still got one more episode because I believe it's seven episodes and only six are up. I haven't looked today though, but it's a um, a little mini series on HBO mm-hmm. called The Staircase. You know what I'm saying? It's mm-hmm. about the um, mm-hmm. it's about the murder. Um, what's that lady name? It's the uh, of Kathleen Peterson um, mm-hmm. by Michael Peterson. He was a novelist, and it's called The Staircase because he ended up. Knocking her killing her on the stairs, <laughs> but he also his previous wife, she died on the stair step on the staircase as well. Mm-hmm. So um, it goes through a whole little thing where it's kind of like mirroring. There's a staircase on Netflix, the actual documentary. Like this is HBO has it to where it's played out for you. They mm-hmm. have it on Netflix, and I didn't notice it came out on Netflix in 2018. Mm-hmm. And that's the actual documentary. So, yeah. um, so I'm watching the HBO Max version. Um, I thought I thought it was pretty good. Um, ha- crazy happened in Durham, North Carolina. I didn't, I, had, I didn't know anything about this shit. Wow. But um, so I watched that. That ended up being pretty good. Not the greatest show ever, but it was pretty good. Yeah. And the great show that I've been watching though. I had it. I look, I've already done a podcast on it, man. Uh, and I had two people reach out to me and say, like, yo, have you watched this? Mm-hmm. It's a Hulu show. Uh, shout out to Jessica Bill. Uh, shout out to uh, Justin Timberlake. You know what I'm saying? He had a little, uh, little camp, not cameo, but he played the sheriff. Shout out to uh, Pablo Schreiber for people that don't know. Uh, Lee Schreiber's half brother, but it's kind of candy. Marie Schreiber is Lee Schreiber's have what? Pablo Schreiber. Oh, Pablo yeah. Schreiber. Yeah. You know okay. who that is, right? No. Dude, dude, he's in Den of Thieves. The um was he with was he with the, the cops or was he with uh 50 and them? Pablo was with uh he was with the I think he was with the cop. I think okay. he was the cop. Okay. Um but now nah, like you you know him, like you've seen him. I'm about like, to look him up real quick. Dude, you you've seen him. He's in that new he's in that Halo shit. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I know him. He was in American Gods. Yeah. He's the yeah, Irish that, dude. Yeah, he's Lee Schrober's brother. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah that's, that's I said the same thing. I didn't know he's that. The, I didn't yeah, know he's, that. he's the leprechaun in American Guys. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, they brothers. Uh, but yeah, Candy Man. Yo, listen, this is about uh, 
<laughs> no, not in not candy man. Candy. Oh, my bad. Comma. <laughs> My bad, yeah. y'all. Yeah, just for y'all to just didn't. It was, <laughs> yep. That's you right. You are right. You know somebody out there gonna be like, man, when the hell is Candyman that came out of TV? <laughs> yeah, my fault. My fault. It's her name is actually Candace Montgomery. Um, yeah. but the show is on Hulu's five mm-hmm. uh five part miniseries. Um, I'm not gonna go go over it too much. Like I said, I did a podcast on it. Y'all can go check it out on 28 Minutes or Less. It was episode 87, mm-hmm. but. Basically, she murdered Betty Gore, which is Alan Gore's wife. Uh, Alan Gore was played by Pablo. Uh, hit her with an axe 41 times. Killed her with an axe. Mm. And she ended up getting off on self-defense. And now she is a psychiatrist under a new name because she changed her name in Georgia. So a woman that was on trial <laughs> mm. <laughs> For killing another woman, and then escape. Now escape, and now she's a therapist in fucking Georgia. Seventy five oh, wow. years old, she's still alive. Um, but it was it was a, it was a really good show. Uh, I think Jessica Biel did a phenomenal job in that shit. She did mm-hmm. really good. And um, yeah, y'all want to hear more about it? Y'all can go check it out on the twenty eight minutes or less. But it's a really really good miniseries. And I will add this: I think that. Hulu could have a thing going here because I said this on my podcast. Keep finding these stories like this, man, and like and, and play this shit out because there's a market for this. Like people love like these shows of like old trials because this is based on true story. Like mm-hmm. I should have said that first. It's based on the true story. Well, the staircase is too. Mm-hmm. So yeah, like I think they got a thing where they could like take these little past trials and play them out and all that type shit. So uh Definitely, man. Uh, so what I said, I said the staircase on HBO Max mm-hmm. and Candy on Hulu. Yeah. Okay. So, um, so I had uh, for some odd reason I was about to come back and tell you guys about Severance, which I believe I already told y'all about um, on a uh, what we watching. So, just to recap, Severance is a show by Adam McKay. Um, on Apple TV and it's about him working at this job and then he breaks like he he breaks away from the job and realizes that you know that we that not we but that they're in like this hip hypnotic state when they're at work and then once they leave work they really can't like remember what the hell is going on inside the job and stuff so like all this crazy shit ensues or whatever and then he's the only one that's disconnected from it and then they end up like trying to catch them and shit and trying to, you know, get them back uh, rewired. But um, that's on Apple TV. Go check that out. Also, on Apple TV um, is Prehistoric Planet. For you nerds out there who are like myself, who love to see like uh, what the planet would look like when, you know what I'm saying, dinosaurs and shit was around or, you know what I'm saying, before we had all these buildings and everything else, this is a great great show to watch um right now they got a new episode out called the desert and it's supposed to be showing you the um the dinosaurs that were basically inhabiting the desert at this time so (sighs) this shit is interesting bro um they already did the ocean which is crazy because you know what i'm saying like we already don't know too much about the ocean but we know enough to know that it was some fucking shit in there that may not be dead that still may be in there so um, <laughs> that shit is so fucking scary, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. Uh, <laughs> watching that, watching that episode really put a lot of stuff in perspective. Um, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like it just, I, I just, I love those type of, uh, I love those type of shows. You know what I'm saying? To, to show you what could be or the possibilities or something. And then, last but not least, man, um, I was so excited for this season three. Love, Death and Robots finally came out. I finally watched it. I'm going to rewatch it again because I missed a couple episodes. But I will say this, man. That shit is fire. Um, as far as the animation in that show goes, it's amazing. Um, it's different types of animation in each episode. So it's not like one big thing. It's pretty much an anthology. So it's like Black Mirror meets anime. And then... Um, it's, it's it's just a it's it's just a it's a, a wild show, and each one each 
uh, episode has like its own. Um, each episode has its own like moral to the story. So, you know, one episode to be talking about taking care of the planet. The other episode to be talking about being nice to people and shit like that. But it's just it's one of those shows that if you like Black Mirror, um, if you like anything like that, if you like anime, if you like both of them, this is specifically for you. You are definitely gonna love this. So check that out. So um, I got Severance, Apple TV, um, Prehistoric Planet, Apple TV, and then uh, Love, Death, and Robots on Netflix. So y'all make sure y'all go check those out. Give them a look. Y'all are definitely going to enjoy those. Um, So, man, let's get into this, bro. Let's get into this, Doc. This is some crazy shit. You know what I'm saying? I I happened to watch this one night because I couldn't go to sleep, so I just stayed up one night and just turned this on. And I was playing this game on my phone, and then I started hearing about the shit that was like happening. And with me, I watch TV with captions on. I don't care what it is. I, I watch TV with captions on, just in case like they say something, and then I can like, actually look down and read it, so I don't miss what they're saying. Mm-hmm. So, um, <laughs> this is about uh, Donald. What is it, Donald Cheen or what is uh, it? Klein? Klein, yeah, Donald Klein. Um, who was a fertility doctor in Indianapolis uh, during the late 70s, early 80s. Um, That's when he started. But around that time, uh, he basically was helping these families um, get pregnant. And in the midst of helping these families get pregnant, you know what I'm saying, he was basically um, (laughs) getting these families pregnant, literally. So, <laughs> my man, it's, it's not, not funny. funny, bro. It's not funny, bro. <laughs> but this shit is so crazy. Like, this nigga got over, this nigga got <laughs> over 97 90. and counting. Oh, is that 97 and counting? Yeah. Okay, so look, I did some actual research on this, right? The research that I had, it said it was at 94. But I didn't know it was at 97 and counting. At the at the end, oh, shit, was it ninety? I know, and that's but see, that's why that's why I went to go look it up because I seen it, and I'm like ninety seven and counting. That sounds a little crazy, so I ended up looking, bro. And you know, what I'm saying like you can you know actually look up the um, you can actually look it up because he had a case uh in 2018, and basically uh his case was about um malpractice or some shit like that. He didn't go to, he ain't never been to jail or nothing like that. But his case is about malpractice because he said he never used his sperm in any of these insemination processes. And then that's what ended up getting him, you know what I'm saying, caught up because his ass is lying because he got fucking 90 some odd kids out here just roaming free. So, uh, yeah, if y'all don't know by now, man, we're talking about Our Father. Um, this is a documentary on Netflix um, that basically tells the story of, a what is what kind of doctor is a, fer, a fertility doctor i don't know what the actual term is for it but yeah a i mean that's what, i mean that's what i would call it okay, uh, so yeah not, a fertility doctor yep yeah that's what they okay. call him. So not a urologist um i think that's a p ain't it what is a urologist is that what is that what it is uh, I'm not sure. I, I don't be knowing all the doctor all right. terms. Hey, y'all, y'all hit me up and tell me if that if I'm right about that. I think a urologist doctor is for peeing. But anyway, um, so he's a fertility doctor, bro, and he out here basically hitting the spank bank and and cashing in on uh people's wives. Yo. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. I want to laugh so bad, bro. I want to laugh so bad at this shit, man. This it's, is it's, crazy. It it is, man. It's it's one of those things where, you know, like when comedians would be like, "Yo, like you have to try to find the funny and everything, right? Even yeah. even in a serious yeah. topic, because this is a very serious topic. Because this shit destroys a whole bunch of people's lives. Like, Facts. I mean, just to, just imagine." You in your thirties and all your life, your daddy is your daddy, and then all mm-hmm. of a sudden, now don't get me wrong, this shit happens in real life. Like I got a cousin, not like this, bro. It, it, it not like this. No, like I mean, like and then he wasn't that old. Like yeah. actually, two of my cousins, um, one found out that his father wasn't like he always thought his sister 
dad was his dad. Mm-hmm. He found out, but he was like, you know, 11, 12 years old. Yeah. And my other cousin, he was like, you know, 12, 13, 14. So, but it wasn't a situation like this. Like, you, you a grown ass man, grown ass woman, and then you find out that this whole time, like, like that's not only devastating to you, but that's devastating to your father as well. Mm-hmm. That all this time he thought that you was, you know, his child. So it's really a serious thing. And yeah. especially like when we get in, like when we really get deep into the shit, but like watching this, you just think of like how sick of an individual this dude has to be and for it to be for uh Jacoba. Yeah. To come out and just, if I'm not mistaken, it was 2014. That's when the whole 23 and Me thing first became mm-hmm. a thing, where you, you could actually, away. yeah, when you could actually send your DNA in and you know actually do all this type of shit. Because we really didn't have nothing before this. Like you just had to mm-hmm. go to the regular DNA place and then they'll run this shit. But like 23 and Me was like this new upstart company telling people, yo, you can send in your DNA and we can find your family tree and all this type of stuff. And so she sends it in mm-hmm. and this whole family tree thing popped up and it showed her mom. But then it start, said father unknown and starts sh- showing like all these siblings and stuff because yeah. she grew up because her mom didn't have like a husband. Right. So her situation is a little different. Her situation aren't like some other people's because the other people was like, yo, like, no, this is my dad. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like, you know, they just had to, you know, he had a low sperm count and they just had to, you know, and in her situation was her mom uh, picked a profile and this was supposed to be who her father is by the profile that they picked. Yeah. And another thing that people have to realize is if you have certain health, we'll get into that a little later in the podcast, but if you have health concerns, like mm-hmm. in your family history, they won't pick you. Whether you won't even be able to even get your sperm even in there because that's one thing that they don't want. They don't want to give a a, a preconditioned, you know, disease or whatever to a child that is undeserving of it. You know what I mean? Because right. child has to be here. Don't you don't want to bring a child in with all of this preconditioned stuff. So to Want, for her wanting to know if she has any other siblings because they said that you could only use this person's sperm three times and that's it. Mm-hmm. And when she started seeing this big ass tree and like this is one of those situations where like I know like white women haven't been getting like the greatest rap as of late but yeah. this is one thing that they do. It's like when they get caught up on something and like wait a minute nah I'm getting to the bottom of this shit like Word. she got to the bottom of this shit and it sprung this she broke this whole well open because mm-hmm. if it wasn't for her looking to see if she had siblings would we even know about this yeah I mean like this- it's I think that we eventually would only because you know what I'm saying, with everything that was going on as far as um, everything that was going on as far as the stories that were being told as, you know what I'm saying, after we find out about Jacoba, like, we find out that, um, I forgot what the lady's name is, but one of her siblings, um, basically, her father was sitting there like, yo, like, you know what I'm saying, they find out that it's not his, you know what I'm saying, that's not her father, and you know what I'm saying? He's like, yo, this motherfucker took everything in the world from me. Yeah, you like, that, those Julie, his, that was that was sibling 14. Yeah, like that, that's his words verbatim. Like, you know what I'm saying? The mom said, like, yo, he like he said, like, yo, he took everything in the world from me. Like he took everything I have. Like, so you know what I'm saying? Like with situations like that, I'm 100 percent sure that this is something that we were, you know what I'm saying? If it wasn't gonna be while he was alive, eventually it was going to be after he was dead because there's no way that you get all of these people pregnant 
through insemination and then, you know what I'm saying, turn around and think that nobody's going to question, well, if, you know, and then, and this is the thing, though. Like, you're the only insemination doctor that they've been to see. So it, once they find out that this ain't they fucking kid, well, this is the insemination doctor we went to go see. We we can go back and ask him, you know what I'm saying, blah, 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 blah. And then, like, maybe he got it mixed up. And then, nigga, eventually they're going to find out, oh, this nigga has been, <laughs> has been playing his seed literally everywhere. I don't know, though, man. This shit go back 40 years, man. And but like, you gotta I don't remember like, the DNA, the whole DNA thing is yeah, just didn't now. Start the coming, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, it's just now coming to light. So, and then we also got to remember that um, this is something that's this is something that is is what had been produced and recorded a couple years back. So we just now seeing it. This probably was something that's been getting uh made for about maybe two three years now you mm-hmm. know what i'm saying so at this time we probably looking at some shit that happened in what 2018 2019 or it got started in 2018 2019 i you think you guys saw a little bit before that because i think when he went to trial yeah i think that was the years that it was yeah so that's what i'm saying like so the fact that he went to trial in 18 19 you know what I'm saying? And that's when that's when they actually, you know what I'm saying, started the doc. That means that they've had three years to actually get with these people, talk to these people, learn who these people are, find out who these people are. Yeah, like between 14 and now, I think you you had to think that somebody was gonna be like, wait a minute, something ain't right. So, you know what I mean? It, it's kind of one of those things to where like I think eventually he'd have got caught up. Um now, one thing that they didn't express, and maybe they did, maybe it just slipped my mind, but when it comes mm-hmm. to sibling 17, man, Matt White, yo, come on. Like, if you – I can't remember if he was the one that father was around, but, yo, you look just like this dude. Yeah. Out of all of the people that they've shown on this show, don't get me wrong, listen, and this is real talk, I feel bad for all of them. Because, like, this is some really sick, fucked up shit. But mm-hmm. <clears throat> when it comes to Matt, Matt looked just like the dude. Rocked the beard like him. He looked like the way he looked, you know what I'm saying, 40 years ago. For sure. And it, and it's like, if if he was one of the ones who had a father, it's like, yo, like, I mean, y'all didn't think that this was a little odd, that he looks a lot like the fertility, uh, um, fertility doctor? Mm-hmm. Um But, like, for him, the reason I say I feel a little bit worse for him is because I think that he's the one with the most resemblance. And, like, he's the one that had to look in the mirror and be like, damn, like, I look just like this motherfucker. Like, there was another boy on Mm -hmm. here, and he didn't really look like him. Yeah. this dude, he was just like him. uh, Yeah, I better say, really, a lot of them don't really look like him. But the dude was like spot on though. Yeah, I mean spot on. He looked just like that dude. But it's it's really a sick thing, man. Especially when. So okay, let let's do this. So let's get into his background a little bit when it comes to um, Donald Klein. Like, so it was in a newspaper, uh, mm-hmm. nineteen sixty three, driving down the road, and. He ends up running over a little girl on a bike. And the crazy thing is he didn't really get in trouble for it. And yeah. he ended up turning himself over to, you know, if y'all, y'all can't see me, air quotes, God. <laughs> and so now he is all religious and stuff because of this act that he did when he was driving and killed this little girl on a bike um, in 1963. Mm-hmm. So he, you know, air quote, turned himself over to God and started getting all religious and stuff. And then he got into medicine and where he became this fertility doctor. And this is one of the things. And like, I didn't know if I planned on get, going this deep this early, but yeah, we okay. already here. So there's this term. I never heard of it until I saw this called quiver tree. Well, quiverful. Excuse me, it's called Quiverful. 
Mm-hmm. Um, Jacoba found it, but like doing her research, she reached out to some people, and then she ended up going to these people's Facebook page, and she kept seeing this quiverful thing. She's mm-hmm. like, "Yo, what? Like, what the fuck is this?" So she looks into it, and all these videos start popping up. And basically, mm-hmm. what it means is, basically, there's this it's this term, religious term, where you basically spread your seed and you have as many children as possible. Yeah. But not only is it just you have as many children as possible, it's it's a white supremacy thing as well, where the forty percent. What well, used to be forty percent, it could be a little lower now, because the white population was forty. It was really a whole lot, a lot higher, but it's starting to go down because of you know people like me fucking up the whole atmosphere. You know what I'm saying? We're having mixed kids and shit. Like mm-hmm. they're trying to get their numbers up. That's another thing that, that it ties into the abortion bills, all the type stuff. So there's, there's a yeah. whole plan in place to to keep the numbers up and this is one of the things that they did and that be my whole thing not my whole thing but it, it just be like I never really express my thoughts a lot when it comes to this but like that be one of the things that add that question when it comes to religion mm-hmm. because now they're using religion to say yo we're going to keep our numbers up and we're going to come up with this term and I am going to impregnate all of these women because I need to have as many people with my DNA as possible. But also in this quiverty thing, they were saying that they want these kids to get involved with politics so they could turn the world over to the gospel or whatever they called it. And like for they want they views of mm-hmm. how they view they got. Mm-hmm. To be put in politics so they could teach the whole world their way of living, and that be <clears throat> the primary reason of why it's just like yo, like I don't know if I'm willing to fall into this into this whole assembly line of like the way y'all feel about religion and all that type of stuff. So yeah, yo, like this this shit is is, is sick, it's fucked up. But like, what what are your thoughts on it, man? Man, um. This shit is crazy because it's what is it, what was it like at least ten thousand families within a network, and it, it's mainly in the Midwest and in the South. So I mean, like that, you know what I'm saying? Like they let you know throughout the Bible Belt, like they they holding it down. Um, I think it's kind of crazy though, like the fact that you know. Especially with everything that's going on right now, like them overturning Roe versus Wade and all this other shit, like you know what I'm saying? This is this is their ideology is like there are no abortions, there are no, you know, giving up your children. Like you it's you know, you you here to have kids. This is what you're supposed to do, like in the in the very traditional sense. And so um for them to then, you know, turn around and like you know have some sort of link to Donald, which, I mean, it wasn't really like a solidified thing, but you can kind of tell like his mindset was kind of that same way. Like he said that um, he was doing it because the mothers were desperate to have children. And, you know what I'm saying? You kind of thinking like, well, yeah, that's why they came to you. But like, my nigga, I don't think that, you know, you inseminating them, unknowingly is the same as, you know what I'm saying, their ideology, which is like, you know, you have children, you keep your children, everything else. And I'm sure they they want it with the, you know what I'm saying, proper intentions, not to just say, oh, you know, if you've been raped, you know, that's a sign from God that you got raped or something. Like, I'm sure that's not, you know what I'm saying, the type of shit that they own, but it's more so just like, Dude was, you know, what I'm saying, like the shit, the shit that he did. I don't think that 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 would be an agreeable thing between the both of them. No, not at sense. all. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And he, I mean, technically, he, he raped them. He was raping yeah. these women, and <laughs> like, so that's why I was saying, like, with that link, that that link wasn't really solidified to me because it was like 
the shit that he was doing and then the ideologies that that they go by are like two totally different things. Like they super like they they ultra religious. And then like this is something that you wouldn't you know what I'm saying? Like you wouldn't see like to me I feel like in the eyes of God, like this would be, you know what I'm saying, like the ultimate sin. Like you are basically not just ruining these people's lives, but you are, you know what I'm saying, you having kids and you're not fathering them. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you ain't even and then not even that, like you ain't even asking these women, is it okay if you do this? Like you just well oh, shit, you know what I'm saying? I know my shit work. Let me go ahead and and you know what I'm saying, squeeze this up in it real quick. And like my nigga is at least have that talk with these people where you know what I'm saying, you can discuss and there's an alternative route that we can go to. And then at the time, it wasn't anything illegal about him doing that. He could have easily went to them. They said, you know, if we can't find you guys any donor, you know what I'm saying? I could, if you'd like, you know, I could step up, be the donor, da da da. I mean, just, but to do it unknowingly, like, come on, fam. It, even though it's, it, it, even though it wasn't illegal, like, it, it's, it's, um, what is it? Is it unmoral or immoral? I think it's immoral. Immoral. But, yeah, that's what but it's, 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 immoral, but it's, it's only. Smart. But it's only a law in in uh, in, uh, <clears throat> in Indiana, mm-hmm. like it's well, it's probably certain states, but it's not a federal. Well, no, law. It, it just became a law in Indiana. Yeah, it just became a law in Indiana. Yeah, then that's and what I'm saying. Then it wasn't it wasn't illegal. It wasn't he, he, he even when even when he was on trial, it was like yo, it's not nothing illegal they've done. Yeah, like, that's what I'm saying. It wasn't even it, it wasn't even against like no HIPAA violations or nothing. Yeah, and it's and it's so crazy because it's like because like when they was talking to Jacoba, she was like. So you telling me that because he didn't physically rape her, it's not rape. Right. And it's not assault. He was like, no. So she was like, so if I spit on you, that's assault. He, he was like, yeah. So she was like, so let me get this correct. So he puts um, his sperm in someone that they didn't give consent to. Mm-hmm. They gave consent for the person, either the person that they thought that they chose or the person's father whose sperm count was low. This is what they agreed upon and he did something that they did not agree upon and you telling me that this is not assault. And it's like, to think about, like, yo, like, that is sick, man, because the, the, the part, another part that gets me is the fact that He's going into the other room, my guy. Like, okay, you know, sit here. You got your legs up. Well, you change your clothes, put your legs on the thing. I'll be right back in a second. And you go, and you go rip one off, and then you put your shit. Like, wait. Yo, this this is so nuts, my guy. And it's just like, and I think that the people who view, and I'm going to tell you right now, the people that are so for killing Roe versus Wade. They probably mm-hmm. watched this and was like, I don't see no problem with this. Right. What do you mean? He did a right. service to he did a service for these women. Mm-hmm. You know, and for people who feel like, yo, these women can make their own decisions. Like they can make their own choices. They didn't pick you. And another mm-hmm. reason they wouldn't pick you is like I brought up earlier in the podcast, this dude has so many fucking illnesses and conditions these kids are starting to experience that now. They grown. They yeah. in they mid forties. Well, no, like low to mid forties, late thirties. They mm-hmm. starting to have serious health problems. And the whole thing was for the, especially for the people who their mothers picked the person, you know, out of the pot. They didn't have these conditions, and it's like now you have to deal with the fact of. My, the person who I thought was my father is not my father, and now mm-hmm. the person that thought it was best for him to use his sperm, he's walking around with all of these conditions, and now I got those conditions too. So not only am I pissed off at this person, every time I go to the doctor or every pill that I take is because of you. Like, mm-hmm. you know that th- that's like I just can't get. Like I don't think I would be over it, man. Like it's it's a hard thing to just completely get over. And and the crazy thing is, is that 
you know, the the rough part is, is that these people didn't even know, you know what I'm saying, what their medical history was truthfully. You know, they thinking that, you know what I'm saying, they got stuff that, you know what I'm saying, their dad had or, you know what I'm saying, at least you'd be able to look to see, you know what I'm saying, his medical history and be able to kind of gauge what yours could be. You don't know what this dude had. They, you know what I'm saying? They didn't know anything about this man. They, they didn't know this man existed. So to then go and then you find out that you got, you know what I'm saying, like a history of high blood pressure or, you know what I'm saying, like you find out that you got diabetes and you like, well, nobody in my family got diabetes or nobody in my family got high blood pressure. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's another thing that can ruin everything, you know what I'm saying, that's going on. Like, to find out that this, you know what I'm saying, like, that this person has all of these medical issues, all these medical problems, and then, you know what I'm saying, not knowing that this is your real father, and then you find out that you have them, and uh, and on top of you finding out you have them, you end up finding out that that's because it's not your real dad. This dude is your real dad? Like, yeah, that that can take a toll on somebody mentally, man. Man, exactly. And then, too, they showed the map of, like, where all these people is, and a lot of them are, you know, within a 25-mile radius. Mm -hmm. And one of the girls was speaking like, yo, like, I could be walking down the sidewalk and running into one of my siblings. As a matter of fact, one of the girls um julie she was like she was watching um she was watching tv and she saw jacoba on tv talking about it Mm -hmm. and she said her husband said yo you look a lot like that girl Mm -hmm. and he was like i'm gonna let you know right now i don't think this thing is gonna end well so it was julie and so what ended up happening was um this other girl had got i think it was lisa if i'm not mistaken she got a DNA, uh, like a 23andMe DNA type thing uh, for mm-hmm. her birthday. And she, uh, so she filled it out in the way Jacoba had it set up. For anybody that go on 23andMe, like she can like message them. It's like, a, it's like a community type of thing. Yeah. And so Lisa said that she saw them on news or whatnot. And so she had ended up talking to her mom, like, Mom, you know, did you and dad have, you know, fertility problems? She was like, yeah. Did you see the doctor in Indianapolis? She was like, yeah. She was like, was the doctor Klein? She was like, yeah. So come to find out, her child played sports with Lisa's child. Right. And that's their dang old cousin. Didn't even know it. Yeah, and they cousin didn't even know it. And it's like, <laughs> It's like, dude, think about how crazy. Because then she was like, "Yo, like, what if I, I could have dated my brother?" Yeah, that's the don't even know it. Yeah, that's the crazy part. And it's like, it's really throwing off like the balance of things, man. Like when when you start doing shit like that, and and he had no remorse. All he thought about and all he cared about was, "Yo, don't air me out because my wife gonna divorce me." I'd be like, "Listen, my guy." I will beat the shit out of you. Man. This is the whole point of this. The whole point is to air you out. Like, what do you mean? And all you care, and you consistently telling me all you care about is yourself. All you care about is saving your own marriage and you mm-hmm. ruining lives all over them, Indiana. Exactly. And then, not even that, the fact that when he was with Jacoba on the phone, right? And he was trying to switch it up on her making her feel guilty for talking to this lady about, you know what I'm saying, about finding out who the rest of her family is and, you know what I'm saying, like, and and basically telling this story. And it's like, what do you expect this woman to do, bro? She don't know shit about you, you know what I'm saying? She don't know nothing about how many other siblings and everything you had. You talking about it's no more than 15 because you really don't even know. So... (laughs) <laughs> the, you know what I'm saying like and then you you know you trying to guilt trip her talking about yeah I'm married and it's gonna ruin my marriage and you didn't think about that when you was putting your skeet inside these women exactly and like and then, and the, then. Uh, real quick and then the when the um what's the what's the one lady uh sure I forgot what her last what her first name is her last name is sure though but she was um talking about Jane. how 
Yeah, Jane Short. She was basically talking about how when she was, you know what I'm saying, like working with him, and you know what I'm saying, she ended up quitting because she found out what he was doing. And she was saying, like, this motherfucker would be like aggressively like masturbating, but he was doing it in the sense like he was actually, you know what I'm saying, having sex with them. And it's like this motherfucker was in the midst of like <laughs> doing that, then taking the semen and then going to put it in somebody and still like breathing heavy like he just got done. Like yeah, that's some sick shit, man. He's definitely a sick dude, man. And then like even when it comes to uh the Fox 59 reporter Angela like um she finally got a meeting with him and like mm-hmm. she was like he didn't want to come to the station, so she met him at a restaurant across the street. She took a security guard with her because Jacoby told Jacoba, I got a son named Jacoby, y'all. Um, <laughs> Jacoba was like, he carries a gun. Mm-hmm. And so she said, as soon as she walked into the restaurant, he's like, do they allow guns in here? <laughs> she's like, the fuck? Like, that's the first thing you say to me? And then she said she saw the bulge on the side. So it's like, yo, like, what are you planning on doing? Like, you going mm-hmm. to kill the reporter? Like, like, what are you really doing? Like, and it's so crazy, just the fact of, like, like, really think about this, man. Um, I'm going to bring up a little something. Like, I was supposed to be on this podcast with this guy, man. Uh, I told you about it. I had mm-hmm. a whole, man, I was I was so ready. I was so ready. But, um, yeah. but like, I was going to hit him with, just look at some of the laws that we do got, yo. That was a law about slavery. They had to make up a law to end slavery. Mm -hmm. They had a law against gay marriage. They had a law against interracial marriage. They had a law about women and black people voting. Like, really think about this shit. But there's no law on what he did until all this shit came out. And then come to find out there were 44 more doctors Doing yeah. the same shit. That's crazy. On, man. At least that, though. That's not even the yeah, solidified. Yeah, they number. don't even know that's if they got least. everybody. And yeah. then you gotta think about it. Some of them might have seen this coming. Let me get the fuck up out of here. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like let me let me try to, you know, end my practice or whatever the case may be, but I'm out of here. Yeah. So what this can do is like all of the women. And this is another thing. Some might be too scared to do it. Some mm-hmm. people just gon' will live their life like, you know what? I don't even want to know. Cause it, it could it could hurt my family so much. It could hurt me so much to the fact of I don't even want to know if this is a thing. So some people who have used a fertility doctor, they might mm-hmm. not even want to know. But I don't know, man. This is this is a, a very sick thing. Um, but <laughs> I don't put nothing past nobody now, man. Mm-hmm. Like it's 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 a thing where it's like you you I've reached a point in my life where there's not many things that shock me anymore. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like I just saw it's all over the news today. Just how you could tell we ain't recording on Friday. Mm-hmm. Um, school shooting in Texas. And yeah. the crazy part is it was an 18 year old. He was at elementary school. Why the fuck are you in the elementary school? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, but does it shock me? Like, no, it's shocking. Yeah, but it's like, it's like nothing surprises me anymore. And it's like for this to come out as sick as it is, and then you find out his reasonings of doing it, and then to come find out that in a law gets, because let me ask you this, coming up in the 70s and 80s and shit, how many black fertility doctors you think there were? Um, I don't know. I mean, even if it was some, I wouldn't think that it would be over five. I mean, I just wouldn't think that that's a that's just like I tell you one thing that I agree because I don't agree with a lot of stuff this dude say. Mm-hmm. One thing Dr. Umar Johnson said was, "Yo." I'm a black therapist. Mm-hmm. He's like, it ain't people. Ba- it wasn't people banging down my door. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So, how many black fertility doctors you think there were? And oh, then man. it ain't. It's, it's, it's damn sure not that many. It's it's 
shit, how many black doctors is it? You know what I'm saying? Alone, yeah, you know what I mean? let alone. Yeah, so it's just like I don't think it's a profession that's like really booming like that. So that's why I say like I don't I wouldn't see it like and and like I said, it's not a federal law. Mm-hmm. And I don't think it ever will be because they, I don't think they have a problem with what he's doing. It's keeping well, I don't, the count up. I don't either because first and foremost, like technically there is I mean don't get me wrong. There, this is 100% rape. I don't care what anybody says. Rape is not just sexually. Rape can be mentally, physically, emotionally. Like, it's a, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a certain action that happens to where it's just, it's unwanted actions against you. You know what I'm saying? What's um, consent? Yeah, you, you got to have consent, but it's like, this is this is 100% rape. This man inseminated these women. And uh, and before somebody said, well, he didn't really rape them. Well, you got to think about it. How do you inseminate somebody? You feel me? So this means that even though he had consent to insert sperm in them, he didn't have the consent to insert his sperm in them. And on top of that, they were unknowing of what the fuck was going on. So this is rape. Like this is as close as rape as it could be, and not a you know what I'm saying like taking away from that, I think that the shit that he did, you know, and then the crazy part is like this dude is still living, yep. and we have we have all this evidence against him and he's still living, right? So the the things that he did not only did it ruin lives, but, I mean not only did it ruin families, but it also ruined lives. You know, you have kids who grew up this whole time thinking that. You know what I'm saying? Somebody was their father and come to find out that this person is not even related to them. This person has nothing to nothing to do with their DNA whatsoever. They're not even kin. They're not even family. So, you know, as as much as it, you know what I'm saying, you would think that it wouldn't make a difference. That makes a hell of a difference to some people. You know what I'm saying? Like that can really, that can really, really fuck shit up for some people. Not just the, the the kids or the or the children of this situation, but for the fathers of this situation as well. Like, you know, some people have been in, you know, so some people could be in situations, and I hate to take it to this route, but I'm just gonna do it anyway. But some people are even in situations because of the child, right? So like they dealing with somebody that they don't want to be with, you know, saying so they staying married and everything else. They, you know, saying so going through you know what I'm saying, bouts of depression and everything because they're staying with this person because they're trying to make it better for their child. And then they come to find out this whole time that that's not even your child. Yep. Or, you know even, or even, you know what I'm saying, child support purposes. You know what that, I mean? They too. broke up. Yeah. And, and, they, and they've been paying and you ain't getting yeah. that money back. You know what not I'm saying? At all. Not at all. You, you, might get, you might not even get a, oh, we sorry back. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's, I mean, it's just, it's, it's fucked up, man. Um, But 2018, man, like like uh, we said earlier, he went to uh, court for basically malpractice. Um, He was found guilty of, you know what I'm saying, malpractice. He didn't go to, he didn't serve any jail time. He ended up getting his uh, license revoked Um, in 2000, I believe, 19. And uh, he hasn't been practicing since. But, I mean, like, at that point, what fucking difference do it make? Yeah, damage is done. Yeah, damage has been done. This motherfucker got going on almost 100 children out here who we only, you know what I'm saying? Like you said, you said it was 94 and counting, right? I mean, 97 and counting, right? It was, it was somewhere around that. I, yeah, I can't like, remember, but you might be right. Yeah, so, like, the, the, the stuff that I read said 94. So we can safely say... You know what I'm saying? Between 95 to 100 children are out here. You know what I'm saying? And we don't even know if, you know what I'm saying? Like, we don't even know if they all know, you know what I mean, that that this is the case. It could just be on some DNA shit that we figuring out, you know what I'm saying? Like how uh, Jacoba had sent her DNA in, you know what I'm saying? They might have did the same thing if it come to figure out that's their sister, you know what I'm saying? So, like, we don't even know if you know what I'm saying? They know who their father is or know about what their father did either. We just know that, you know, 
somehow these, uh, well, not somehow, we know why they link, but you know, we know that these people are all linked together because of this situation. Um, so yeah, you know, I, this is one of those things where I tell people, man, if you get time, check this out because this is some shit that will rock your world. This is some shit that will really have you for a loop. Like, yo, what the fuck is going on? Um, Fire Flames, man. Fire Flames. Where you at with this joint? Uh, Information-wise, it was good. Mm-hmm. Um, Entertainment-wise, you know, they tried to do the dramatization thing. It was cool. Yeah, I could have did with um, that. Yeah, I mean... I don't know, man. I, I think I think I give it like a three. Okay. Um, I mean, it, it was cool. It, it's 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 really it's really sick mm-hmm. to even think about, like, you know, because some of these people got like teenagers now. Yeah. And it's like, you know, you could be dealing with, you could be dating somebody going to prom with your, mm-hmm. you know, what I'm with your cousin, and have no idea. Mm-hmm. Um, so I mean, information wise, like it was a lot of information. She she recorded phone calls, mm-hmm. so like the information is there. Like I'm not mad at that. It's just, I, I it's not that they did a bad job with what they was doing. It's just like would I ever watch it again? Like nah, nah, no, yeah, it's rough on that. But scene. yeah, that's why it's kind of like I give it a three. But mm-hmm. I mean, I, I would still encourage people to watch it because it was crazy, yeah, and it was sick. And it was very informational, but at the end of the day, man, I'm gonna give it a three. Cool, man. Um, I'm gonna take it just a step above, man. I'm going three and a half, only because the story in itself is so fucking crazy. Like, this is hard to believe that this motherfucker was in here spanking this shit, getting it off, and then injecting it into various women throughout the Indianapolis area. Um, <laughs> this shit is fucking nuts, bro. Like. And the, the the even the the craziest part about it is this nigga never did jail time. Not one day. Yeah, and so, a five hundred dollar fine. That's it. Yeah, right. And he got his license revoked. That's it. Like to me, this is the wildest shit that I've ever heard of in my life. Um, but I'm glad that I heard it because this just goes to show you that you know you can't trust everybody, even though you know this these are people that are supposed to be people you can count on and people you can rely on in, in these certain situations when you have certain health conditions or whatever, you really have to do thorough research when you go into these situations and deal with these people. And this is further proof of why. So yeah, I'm giving it 3.5. Um, coming soon, man, this is a, this is going to be a very interesting one. We're doing an appreciation episode, man. We're talking about the one and only um, legend of the game, man. He got winner. Um, yes, I said he got uh, Whoopi Goldberg, man. This is this is gonna be this is gonna be a, a really good one, man. A very interesting one, mm-hmm. um, because I think that her career has to be one of the most uniquest. Career, that if that's even a word, yeah, around sure. like I, I don't think people really understand how unique it was. Um, so I, I, I definitely got some some talking points, man, when it when it comes to with the Goldberg, man. So mm-hmm. I think that's gonna be a really really good episode. Yeah, man. Um, I'm excited to uh, you know, I'm I'm excited to do this one because we haven't uh had a chance to shine light on the black woman yet. And this is gonna be yeah, we have who read the divine. Oh, that's right. Okay, never mind. This is our second time shining light on the black woman. In my apologies, I forgot. We I totally forgot about we did Holly Berry too. Did we? She don't count though, she mixed. (laughs) See, there you go. (laughs) (laughs) I'm just playing, man. Shout out to Holly Berry, man, Ohio legend. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Helen from the land, you know what I mean? Um. But no, nah, yeah, I, I, man, listen, bro, we done did so many episodes. I totally, I didn't even, I don't remember nothing about Halle Berry. I ain't gonna lie to you. I remember Loretta Devine. I do not remember doing Halle Berry. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, bro. Yeah, so, um, for sure, though, man, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Loretta Devine and Halle Berry. Um, two great actresses, man. Legends in their own right. 
uh, a higher legend than Halle Berry. You know what I'm saying? I'm so happy that she's uh, from the Buckeye State. Um, so, yeah, my apologies then. Uh, we're going to shine light on our third great black woman, Miss um, Whoopi Goldberg, a.k.a. No, I ain't going to say her real name. I'll wait to know. I know it's Catherine or something, though, but I ain't going to say it now. Any Catherine Johnson? Johnson, yep. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, well, I said it anyway. Fuck y'all. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't supposed to say it. But anyway, man, you know what I'm saying? Um, stay tuned. Episode coming out, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know, so we're going to do our thing. We're going to sh- give flowers to the great Whoopi Goldberg. Um, let me say it again. He got winner. You know what I'm saying? It ain't too many in the game that have done that. She is one of the few. And, you know what I'm saying, she has definitely put on for uh, black women everywhere. Um, But, you know what I'm saying, if you guys liked the episode, if you didn't like the episode, you know you can always tell us. If you want to hear us talk about something else, you know what I'm saying, a specific movie, maybe a TV show, maybe a documentary, or maybe you just seen a, a, a short on YouTube that you want us to check out. Who knows? Um, hit us up on the socials, man. IG and Twitter at View Nine Pod. You can hit us up on Facebook at V A Pod Watch Group, and you can follow me at Scoots Bronson on Twitter. Um, and then I have a link tree in my bio, so you can go there and you can find everything else that I do. Yes, sir, man. Y'all go do that for sure. And check me out at uh, S. Foster Eight on Instagram and Twitter at Twenty Eight Minutes or Less Pod on IG. Uh, let me see. Uh, find the podcast on all major platforms. Um, I, like I said, I did episode 87. It was on Candy, the Hulu miniseries. Um, so go check that out on all major platforms. And that's, that's all I got, man. That's what's up, man. So um, listen, you know what I'm saying? Thank you guys very much for tuning in. Everything that you do as far as support goes is greatly appreciated. Um you know what I'm saying? Listening to us every episode, that's something that, you know what I'm saying, we can only hope that you can continue to do. Hopefully we making this as um, fun for you as it is fun for us. I'm sorry, fun for you to listen to as it is fun for us to make it. Um, and with that being said, man, till next episode, like they say in Hollywood, that's a wrap. Cut. <laughs>